Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for some more Metroid Fusion. Uh, last time, I don't remember what we were doing, but I definitely know that we're not going that way, because that way is going back. So, um, I'm trying to remember, like, I know we, yeah, I know we were trying to start this level, and I did try recording this, I think, a couple days ago, but then I just remembered getting kind of, like, a bit lost and getting pissed off. This way here, I think, is a fire area, so I can't go through here yet, so I just wanted to mark that down to kind of, you know, let myself know in the future that that's what that is. I don't... There are things we can do in there, I remembered, but we can't do them quite yet. I think we have the speed boost. We're not that finally. Okay. Um, yeah, so I remember getting lost, and I think getting... What was it? Like... Close to being dead, so that's partly why I kind of just skipped out on, um, like trying to do this episode, like why I stopped recording it last time. But you know, that's that's more so for like me to know. Sorry, I'm kind of not talking as much as I normally do. I'm kind of out of it right now. My brain is too focused on other things at the moment. But yes, this is what I was pretty much struggling with trying to find when I was doing this part. Uh, this, you know, canned recording sesh. Well, I was trying to find the damn green hatch door. I couldn't figure out where the fuck it was supposed to be at. And then I think we go through here, and then there should be a green hatch up here. But now we got these ass wipes to put up with. And, yeah, if you want to go down here, you got to go through that way. Um... And then, if you want to go down this way, because there's a down path, you have to get speed boost going. In order to do that, you have to do, you know, you have to get, you gotta press that button thing there, and then you can finally do that, and that gets us down here. And yeah, I don't exactly remember where I might have made it to off the top of my head, but I do remember, like, when I was trying to record this, I kept dying a lot. And I got pissed and just gave that up. Okay, so we can't go there. So, that's good to know. As for this way, this is, of course, going to be a nice little item area, which, you know, I could use. I could use whatever the game's probably going to potentially give me. Yep, that's all okay. Usually, if you see, like, floating giant squares like that, that's typically a good sign that there's definitely going to be, like, a missile or something. Or at least a, you know, an E-tank or something of the sort. Hold on. Technically, I don't need to do that, but I might as well. Just to save myself the trouble. I don't really particularly like fighting these guys too much. Mainly because, you know, they kind of eat missiles a bit, and... It's kind of in the way. Most of the time, I normally just kind of go through here. And just run through without too much thinking. Which... You know, potentially probably leads to multiple consequences, I guess you could say. If I remember correctly, yeah, like, this room right here leads down into that one room that we were, that we saw earlier. That was kind of closed off. If I remember correctly, I think this leads back into it, so. And then we need to go potentially this way. Yeah, because we got green hatch door here, so. I think we're on the right track. Also, these guys are not in the background. Um, as much as they might look like they are, they're actually not. It's just so damn hot in here that they just you know, kind of look like they are a part of the background, which bugs the shit out of me, honestly. Yeah, don't be fooled by their appearances. They actually are right there in front of you. I don't know if there's anything I can get there. It looks like there's like a pipe there. I'm not really sure. And yeah, this is pretty much where I left off, and I remember specifically that there was a particular ordeal that we're going to deal with, and that and I had, like, no health when I got here, and I was like, okay, fine, you know what? We're just not gonna do it. We're just not gonna do, you know, any of this recording things. Because uh, I, I kind of need, like, a safe spot, you know, and I didn't want to have to run all the way back to the older safe spot and what have you. Wait, oh, I guess we do that later, okay. Or no, wait, hold on. Here we go, okay, cool. I was trying to remember exactly, oh, thank god, Wow. You mean to tell me this entire time I could have just had a decent recording? Fudge. But yeah, um... Needless to say, there's a 
boss that shows up later that we're going to deal with, and that's why I kind of got scared and ran away. But as it turns out, as you can see, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I guess we can do those now. So I don't remember if you could do them. I think... Okay, I guess... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to remember how this all works. I think your super missiles... Like, your missiles just straight up upgrade, I think, to just being super missiles. Like, I think they're just... Like, it's just a full-on upgrade rather than, you know, anything too crazy. Because, like, the, the, the thing told me, you know, it's just... Hold our... And there you go, right? Do I go back in here first, or do I have to go and do something else first? Well, the door didn't lock, so yeah, we come back later. Alright. Just making sure... That I'm on the right track. And looks like... Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go... And deal with that shit then. Alright. Yep, okay, finally. Now we can fight him. Uh, I think this was... I think this was called the Box Boss. I don't remember exactly the name. Um, but he's not one of my favorite bosses in the entire... Yeah, not, not a fan of this particular boss. He's a bit of an asshole. Like, those flame pillar things are just really mean. And if worse comes to worse, I'm just going to fucking rewind feature. I don't care enough. Mainly the, the one thing that gets me is these damn flame pillars. And I assume that most people probably have the same problem. And it's trying to like get a good shot on him. It's kind of hard. And plus he just like he does like a fuck ton of damage. Would you just... There. I guess we're going to have to just, you know, play it as best as we can. Because see, like if you get him to run, he's just going to run and then stop in front of you, so... I could try to use that to my advantage. Because, like, see, he's running now. He's going to stop. Turn around. I'm going to get, like, a shot on him. So, yeah, this is, I, I would assume, probably, like, the quote-unquote correct way to potentially fight him. I would assume so. But I've never really been that good at fighting him. And the, the main problem I have is the fact that, like, those pillar things are just so huge. Like, look at this shit. Like, this, this is why you can't really fight him uh, the way that I was trying to. You have to play this a bit more safe because you know, if you're playing on like an actual Game Boy or trying not to use you know, potential save states or save features or whatever, you know, this motherfucker can hurt you. Pretty bad. And he does crap like that that annoys the shit out of me. Like, he just entraps you and and that technically is my fault for being entrapped, but, you know. Yeah. But it's pretty cool how, like, he does have, like, a brain that shows. I think that's pretty neat. I mean, yeah, it's a neat boss, but it's one of the ones that always makes me very, very angry to fight against. Like, every time I fight him. Like, I've never been that good at fighting him. And it seems like today that might have changed. He's actually a lot easier than I remember him being, though. Okay. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if they're going to do the whole, like, you know, I may be dead, but I'm just going to, you know, hit you with, like, one last hit to make sure that you get hurt. Because I know that, um, Bloodstain does that. Not the actual regular Bloodstain, but, I'd like, Curse of the Moon, and I think there's, like, a few other Castlevania games that do that. So, yeah. All right, cool. We saved. My thing is recording. Thank God. Okay, everything's good. Just making sure that everything's fine, because I don't... I don't want this to be a missed recording or something, because that would suck. But there you go, there's like boss number, I don't know, three, four, maybe? Something like that. I'll have to look up, like, the boss order again. I'm hoping that's the last time we'll ever see his ass. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. And then to get up here, I think we have to do something. Well, actually, I'm curious. Maybe we could do something to get up there. No? Okay. Well, you never know. Never know until you check. But I'm guessing it's probably one of those where you have to potentially bomb your way into, maybe. There might be something extra that way. I don't know. Hold on. I'll check that area in just a second. I want to make sure 
that this is clear. But yeah, see, if you don't suck up a, a parasite, they'll pretty much just change into somebody else eventually. And that's the thing you kind of want to look out for. Let me check what's on the right side first. I'm not sure. Okay, so, yeah. You need screw attack to get in there. Obviously. It's one of those where, like, you know, I could... Like, it doesn't matter if I tell you what it is, because, let's be honest, you know, the game kind of spoils it, if you, if, especially if you know. And it looks like we're going to need screw attack to even be able to speed boost through that door anyway. And just in case, well, we're already speed boosting anyway, why not? Just take it, I guess. Okay, I was going to say, there's got to be something they want me to run into here. So, it looks like we're going to have to jump for that one. I'm, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? Why not? Extra upgrades, extra upgrades will always come in handy to have around, you know? Sorry, I'm just wasting missiles, but it works. So now I need to remember to jump, like, right now. Or what I could do is I could always, like, shine spark it. Or whatever. You know? Try that. Oh, come on. Come on, Sammy, please. Come on, Sammy, classic Metroid fan, please. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Okay. I'm just really bad at my my timing again. Wait, was that a thing? Okay. I thought I saw, like, something break. One thing you'll definitely take notice about Metroid in general, if, especially if you haven't played much Metroids, is the fact that you take quite a bit of damage for a lot of things. That you would, you know... Ugh, fuck off. You know, like, you, you would think sometimes that you might not take that much damage, but then you take, like, a whole, like, E-Tank worth, or at least half an E-Tank worth, and that's like, god damn. Because, like, beginning game, you know, you don't have any E-Tanks on you. you got no upgrades or nothing. And then all of a sudden, you know, now you're taking, like, a shit ton of damage, and you're like, what? But I got all these cool E-Tanks and stuff. But that's just, uh... That's just Metroid for you. <laughs> you take a lot of damage. And that's not just, like, specifically, like, this game either. That's just... It, pretty much just any Metroid at this point. I Trust me, I've played quite a bit of them, I know. <laughs> I know the pain and the struggle. But I wonder if they do that because either your E-Tanks are just not, like, full-on, full-on health, or if it's just, like, maybe a case of... I don't know. Um, what I'm trying to say here, like, maybe, like difficulty going up, possibly, and they kind of expect you to have E-Tanks by then. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure. 100%. Says the Metroid fan. <laughs> I know, I know. I get it, I get it. But yeah, today I kind of want to record at least maybe two, potentially three episodes. Okay, Rogue Security Bot, yep, yep, yep. Which, you know, I sure hope that security bots never become a thing again in Metroid games. Especially not the sequel. Oof. So now we're going to the Sub-Zero arc area. Yeah. Avoid Sector 5 for now? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, so basically you have to wait until we get the ability to walk through, you know, rooms. So now we're going to the night area, Sector 6 being Knock. So kind of like Nocturnal, you know. Nocturne. Well, that's different. That's not That's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. That's like a music thing, if I remember correctly. Alright, so, on to, I guess, number six. And it looks like something's going on. Ooh. Looks like uh, we're being watched. Looks like the, um... Computer program system thingy seems to be, well, acting up. Going on the fritz here. Something, something behind the scenes is happening. I wonder what that could be. Oh well, we're busy, so you know, let's just go fucking go to sector six and go deal with whatever shit we gotta deal with there. 
Also, even though we are kind of a bit far in right now, I still don't think we're probably halfway through the game. As I remember correctly, I think this game's like... It's not super long. I mean, most Metroids aren't that long. But this one's kind of a bit on the long-ish side, but I guess. Oh, great. There's always a fucking problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is something that's pretty neat. So basically, if you tried to touch a parasite with, you know, the cold effect, then you pretty much will take damage from it. I think you can still, like, kind of get healed or even potentially, like, get your missiles back, you know, if they happen to be, like, a missile parasite thing that gives you missiles. Um, so, yeah, just bear that in mind that you will take damage if you're not careful. However, it only seems to happen, like, mostly in very specific areas, so we're kind of good for now. As long as we just stay with the, the normal beaten path here, I guess, then we'll be alright. Yeah, see, I kind of wish that the game would just... Like, if I shoot something, I kind of wish it would just tell me that, hey, this is a thing you either blow up with bombs, or this is a thing you blow up with something else, or whatever. But they don't do that, and that's what I just don't really like too much. I kind of wish that, you know, I could be told <laughs> when I shoot it, you know, if it will do something or not. But, ah oh well. I mean, I have bombs. It's not like I can't just bomb the thing and then figure out that way, right? So it's not like a big deal. And plus, like, if you kind of suspect that there's something there, then you're probably going to bomb or missile it anyway. Especially if you happen to just know that's a thing, then, well... Pfft. If you already know what's there, then no problems, right? By the way, don't don't take that as, like, me hating on the game or anything like that, so don't worry. No hate toward it. Okay, so I, I guess I forgot that there is no, like, missile variant. I think you just do take straight damage, so, alright. Uh, I lied about that, and I didn't mean to, but, you know, it happens. Just misinformation. I love to spread it. Oh, no. Now we gotta fight the Castlevania missile boss. And don't worry. Even though we might not have gotten the missile expansion ourselves, there's always plenty of room for a f another one. I was gonna say a free one, but that really wasn't that free. Considering the fact that I had to actually work for that son of a bitch. Um, let's see here. So, now we need to somehow get through here without taking too much damage. Which is going to be almost nigh impossible, especially with how many fucking... Yep. Okay, so, in all fairness, I did save the game. So we're fine there. Um, all we got to do now is just maybe not go through that room. We can always just wait to come back and check it out later. My question is, what's the point of this? Like, this room. That's why. That's what that's for. Okay. Okay, that makes sense now. I was gonna say, because, like, if the missile expansion is on the right side, like, what would be the point of the left side? But then, you know, I used my brain. <laughs> There's something I don't really do very often. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. That would mean that there's, like, a different way or a different object in question that we can go obtain. Yeah, unfortunately, with the ice parasite things here, there's no real way to kind of kill them. You kind of have to just shoot them and stun them. For a bit, so I guess if anything, we should just ignore the missile expansion area for now. That way, we could just go get the Varia suit and then just not have to worry about, you know, these guys being too much of a pain. Because I would assume that most likely they probably don't want you to fight them or they don't want you to try to go through them, you know? If there's like too many of them, I'm sure the game's probably like, yeah, you might not want to. So we probably should just listen to the game and, and, and go from there. Okay, so we come from there, so... Yeah, of course. There are so many of these, like, screw attack spots that I just don't remember there being that many. But then again, I never really checked too much, to be honest with you. Also, if you're in, if you're in a very horizontal room, like the one I was just in... Chances are, most likely, you're probably going to be using speed boost somewhere in there. Yeah, make sure you grab these as fast as you can. You don't want them to spread out and become something worse. Because, yeah, you, you don't want that. 
Of course not. Alright, cool. Check. That's all done. And now we go back in there. And I thought there might have been something here to get, but I don't think there is. I think it's just a giant pool of enemy spawns. Maybe it's a power bomb area. Maybe it's a... You know, screw attack area or something like that. Possibly. Just a random E-tank down here. Okay. And yeah, there we go. There's always at least a little something extra, I'm sure. If it seems like there's sh like there should be something a bit extra, then chances are there might be. You just never really truly know until you check. Okay, so we're... Yep, yeah, alright. So that room in, is intended to basically just be kind of like a starting room for the speed boost. Or not. Or this is probably screw attack shit. Okay, it's power bomb shit. Okay. Well, fuck a duck. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. I know what's going on here. So we can't power bomb it. But a certain somebody else can. And trust me, you want to stay the hell away from there. I'm going to wait like a few seconds to make sure that she's gone because I don't want to fuck with SAX. Not right now. Okay. Okay, I think we're fine. All right. She might be gone. I don't know. Yeah, see, they, they this part of the game is really dickish about it because they try to trip you. And they, 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 they want you to fall into it. I can't speak ever. They want you to fall into the trap of getting hit, like, or getting spotted by her, which is actually pretty smart, honestly, for game design idea. Like, they're trying to actively make you, you know, forced to have to fight SAX, which, by the way, you can't really fight her. You kind of just have to just avoid her outright, so don't worry about that too much. And if you ever do see SAX, just, you know, stay on your toes and be like, okay, well, I'm going to wait, like, a few seconds... Because she'll probably just walk out of the room. Um, if you see her like I did there, then you're potentially just better off. You know. Um, hold on one sec. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, sorry about that. I had to mute the mic to sneeze there for a second. Um, commentary good? Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, pretty much, like, if you have, like, an instance like that, like I had, then most likely just make sure that, you know, or just be on your toes, because you might fall like I did, and then they usually give you a chance to kind of fight back, but I think that, I don't think they do it too often, though, either, so probably should be okay. Would you come on and just fucking, <laughs> please? Yeah, now that we have Super Missile, we can pretty much just destroy him. Oh, yeah, this thing. Okay, nice. Hopefully, you know, we just blew it up. Okay, now it's going to go create a boss or something. Oh, shit. Fell in the water. Not good. Not what I want. Look at that background. It's got like a face to it. It's crazy. Ow. Dick. So I forget what this guy's called. One thing is for sure, though. I am not doing this very well. Um, what do you want me to use, game? Okay, so apparently charge beams, I guess. Instead of just missiles, which I thought, you know, would probably work best, but... So somehow missiles don't work, so you gotta charge beam it. If I die here, I'm just gonna rewind to the boss. Well, it depends on how far back we were, I guess. I still find it weird that you gotta use charge beam, but, like, you can't just use, like, missiles for it, so. And now we gotta deal with this shit. And I, I just... I just never liked fighting these things, to be honest with you. Because they're just so damn... Stinkingly... Stupidly aggressive. There. Fucking hey, He almost died. Like, I get how to avoid them, but sometimes I get tripped up on my own, you know, jumps and stuff. Alright, so. Now we got the Varia suit. Varia, however you pronounce it. And... 
so now what we need to do is, well, now we can survive cold temperatures. We can finally survive basically attacks from like the ice critters, like the ice parasites things, the cold parasites. So we can finally, you know, eat those and don't have to worry about taking damage from them. And because, you know, this is the various suit and it should work the same way it does in every other Metroid game, we should be able to go through hot temperature rooms too. Before we do that, though, I want to check this area one more time. Because I feel like there's something I could have gotten, but the ice parasite guys were kind of getting in the way, so... I'd much rather just deal with them, suck them up, and... Yep. Just as expected. Okay. I knew I saw that, and figured it was something in there to get. Yeah, might as well just wait for him to come back, I guess. And there we go. Alright. Oh, okay, no power bomb this time. Oh, okay, cool. Missile tank. So it's always good, you know, to kind of come back. And then even when you do get, like, an upgrade, sometimes it's probably just beneficial to just double check and make sure there's not maybe potentially something extra in that room, too. Because they've done that before. It's Metroid, after all. They'll do anything. <laughs> They'll do anything to screw with you. I don't know why I looked over at my computer like I'm looking over at, like, chat or something. <laughs> Lean and ban. Lean and manual ban. Get that ass banned. Okay, so, just to get an idea of where I'm kind of at here. Okay, so we got the double pillar vertical shafts going here. I'm going to save it because I'm not going to take that chance and die. I'd rather not. And then, I think we'll just take this way first, um, if we even possibly can. Well, I think we're going to have to wait until later. You either fall into it, or you're going to need a specific upgrade to get up there, so. Unless you could potentially jump. No, okay. I thought maybe you could probably jump from, like, wall jump from one side to the other, but I don't think they're going to let me. Yeah, this, this room would be almost damn near impossible to get through if you didn't have the various suit upgrade to get through. Although, to be fair, you wouldn't get here anyway without it, I assume. But I don't know about sequence breaking. You probably could. There might be a sequence break, but I, I don't know much about those, to be honest. When it comes to fusions, sequence breaking. Oh, well, what do you know? Sorry. So what's this room all about, then? Something right here, maybe? Probably a screw attack. No? Maybe... Ah ha ha! Clever girl. Tried hiding a missile tank from me, huh? See, I'm too smart for that. I'm too smart for this. Even though I'm sure I'd say that now and my luck will run out. But yeah, I, I also find it kind of interesting at that and, uh, you know, quite charming, I guess if that's the right word for it, but just interesting that when you go into a room that you've been through before that has, like, the obvious parasites that you can now, you know, suck up, they will effectively just try to avoid you outright. Because at this point in time, they already know that if they even try to touch you and, and attack you, well, they can't. Which I think is one of the most clever things in these games that they did. Sure, it's a bit more subtle, I guess, because, like, maybe, you know, there might be the chance you might not come back to that room very often. But at the same time, like, just the fact that they put that there is it's still pretty cool, so. And it's not a very... Mm, I guess it is a bit unique, to an extent. That's eh, sort of. Unique in the sense that, like, I don't think Metroids do it too often. They don't go... Too crazy with, like, small little things like that, but... I mean, they do and they don't. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking to my ass at this point. But yeah, see, in this room... They haven't, you know, met me... At my full form yet, so... They don't have any idea what the... F what the frick's about to happen to them. They're about to get absorbed. Well, I guess that one did, because he probably saw his friends do it. But either way, you get the idea. Now they... They're, they're pretty much, like... They know now that they can't do that, so they can't get away with it. Have we gone through everywhere that we need to go through? Are there, are there any other doors I need to check real quick? Because I don't think I see any. There is, of course, just like this one specific door that had like a bunch of, you know, ice parasites inside of it that I could probably go to real quick. 
Uh, but it's on the way back, which is good, because I always like that aspect. Being able to just kind of go back and finish things you start, I guess. Yeah, if you want to catch them and use them, then you're going to have to... Well, obviously shoot them down to stop them from moving. There could be a bomb thing here, I don't know. Uh, of course there is. It just sucks, too, because... I don't remember that I need to come back there. Like, I could always write it down, of course. That would be the smart thing to do. If I wanted 100%. But, again, I, I won't be just for the sake of my own sanity, I guess. Even though I assume that most likely this game is not that difficult to probably 100%. Uh, in terms of other Metroid games I've played. Because, like, this and Dread, I feel, you know, might be one of the more easier ones to accomplish that with. I mean, in all technicality, I guess Metroid is relatively simple to 100%. You just gotta know where everything's at, right? It's just that, you know, with a game like this and also Zero Mission, if you miss, if you get to a certain point, you pretty much miss out on the opportunity to gain 100%, and that's what kind of sucks. So, And I, I am not, not gonna do 100% Metroid Prime. That's not my forte. No, 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 no. Because I'm not scanning every single individual thing. Every every potential missable scan, too. Like, yeah, it would be cool if I did do it, but that's too much for me. I That's another that's another Let's Player's job to do, and that's not mine. That's a, some, com, you know, some coming Johnny. He can do that. <laughs> or some, you know, potential speedrunner. That's beyond my pay. That's That's way beyond my pay grade. Which is insane. Alright, so now all I'm gonna do is basically just kinda go back and recharge. Why not? Because, you know, I could use a bit of it, I guess. Make me feel whole again. Funny reference to my recent Let's Play, which was Dead Space. That recent ish. How did he get the various? I don't know. Yep. So where to now, boss? You currently have no way of damaging it. Yeah, I know. The plasma beam might work. Okay. By absorbing a you can get it by absorbing a large core X as you did with the charge beam function. As for restoring ice beam functionality, I doubt it. Yeah, because basically they don't like ice. So. And I think now it seems that we have to go get the new missile upgrade? Is that the plan right now? I kind of do wish that the game wouldn't tell you exactly what you're going to go get, but I mean, in terms of story-wise, it makes sense. I mean, plus, it's like the fourth main Metroid game, and I would assume that most people at this point have probably played a ton of Metroid games, but I'm kind of of the belief that I, I kind of wish that you could kind of hide it from the player to keep it somewhat a surprise. And be like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe it. I got the, I got the morph balls like my first upgrade ever, because that's pretty much what you always get. But if even if, whether or not you're a new player or like an old veteran player, you know, I think it'd be kind of nice to have some surprises here and there, and be like, oh wow, I I didn't know I was gonna get the plasma beam this game, but then they just kind of tell you in there, and it's, yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing, because like I said, in terms of story-wise, it makes sense, because, I mean, he kind of has to tell you about your old stuff and be like, you gotta go get it back. So, it does make sense that way. I guess, if anything, if I really wanted that whole game that had surprises, I guess you could say, like, pretty much almost every other Metroid game would do that. So I'm kind of just barking at nothing, I guess. I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, look at that. We can't go there, so what are we going to do now, game? What are we going to do now? Oh, there it is. I was warned about that. Ah, I see. Well, good news is we can just do that. We don't need to get on the ladder to do it, so. Oh, let me readjust my chair here. I know I do that in, like, every Let's Play now. Ooh, I hit my computer. That's not good. Okay, nothing happened. Nothing broke. I'm sure the Ethernet probably went out. Like it always does. 
can barely even touch my computer and the thing just gets knocked right the hell out. These might be... okay, of course. And surprise, surprise, power bombs are usually last. They're usually like the last, you know, oh, this is your cleanup. Now you gotta go through and d go back through all the levels again and then go do cleanup and shit. And that's pretty much why I kind of don't want to do it, because I never do that for Metroids. Unless it was like Dread or something, you know, something I really like a lot. Well, to be fair, I haven't really ever 100% zero mission either. I mean, I kind of tried, but then gave up, because... I missed out on things, and I was like, eh, the hell with it. It's like, once I miss out on one thing, it's just over. Especially, like, if you're, you know, trying to get 100%, and then you, well, <laughs> miss that one missile, one missile. And you're, like, near end game, and you're like, ah, right, well, oops. Too late at that point. Oh, okay. Secret area. Secret square. Nothing? Well, let me guess. Of course. Always. Alright, so that was bizarre. I mean, what is there to do? Wait. That's weird. Maybe, it, maybe it's another power bomb situation or something. I don't know. Why would they have this, though, if there's nothing to do here? Makes no sense at all. Okay. Definitely one of the weirdest areas. There's no sign of anything that I can see yet. It could be potentially just a case of you need a specific upgrade to do it. But... I don't know... I forgot those, what those guys were called. I think they start with an S, I think. Oh, jeez. Yeah, good news is you can technically attack them from here, which is nice. Unfortunately, you're going to have to hope that, you know, the parasites don't, like, remake them, basically. Loop. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Kind of weird that we can just do that, but all right. And then I think it's probably bomb time for this too. No, of course not. So pretty much, I think in order to do this section, we're gonna need a specific upgrade for this. So we can't come here just yet. That's for later. We're gonna have to do something else before then. It sucks, I know, but you know it's just the unfortunate part when you. When you think you know you're going the right way, and then you end up just kind of not going the right way, and then you're like, ah, crap, I went the wrong way, and well, now it's over. <laughs> well, good news is, there's no parasites to make them form yet, so... Of course, if it wasn't obvious enough already, I mean, yeah, they're gonna have to. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Security hatch yellow. Good. Now, this is gonna come in handy. And I think that might be all the security hatches, possibly. So I don't remember anything past yellow, red, and, like, green. Wait, I think... I don't know if we ever gotten red finished yet or not. I don't know. I don't remember. Something else I can say that I do, I do kind of like about Fusion, though, is the fact that, like, they won't hide secrets in, like, the most craziest of places, I feel. They won't make it too, like, out of nowhere, too stupid to look for. Um, I don't mean that, like, in a completely mean way, but it just always kind of felt like with Metroid, they always had very strange places to put them, so to speak. Like, there, there could be, like, a random wall near a ladder or something, and the next thing you know, you know, oh, there it is. There's, there's the, uh, there's a bomb thing. You had to bomb here. You didn't know that? Wow. I guess you weren't exploring hard enough. Like, I'm not against the exploring part of it. I'm just saying that I kind of wish that some of those secrets wouldn't be uh, too weird, I guess. Too out of nowhere. And there'd be, like, a small hint to it. Okay, kind of weird that you can just do that. I don't know. I'm, once again, bitching and complaining about nothing. 
So for here, it looks like we got the ice missile, so we can technically just go back down and go do all that stuff before we continue on. Or just wait. Nah, I don't like waiting. I <laughs> uh, have to. Well, that sucks. So what I could do, though, um, since we're kind of getting close on time, unless there's a safe spot right down here, which, I mean, maybe. Wait a minute. See, something like that is what I'm talking about that needs to be done more often. You know, where, like, not, I'm not saying, like, it needs to be obvious that it's there, but it could be more so, like, you kind of just, you're shooting in a spot, and then you find it, and you're like, oh my gosh, I found it, like, that's crazy. You know, something like that, I think, is nice. Am I stupid, or, hold on. So yeah, ice missiles basically, uh, they do that. I don't, I guess we can't do this area just yet, or do we come back down from it? We probably do. Okay, there's a safe spot right there. But yeah, so for this, pretty much, you know, if you want to get back up, there you go. You gotta wait for these guys to turn into, um, pillars, and then you can use that to your advantage. And I think, if I remember correctly, there might be, well, there's just, yeah, that's just him. I'm trying to remember if there was, like, that other side that had the speed boost one we need, but I think that might be a little higher up. Well, whatever. We hit a safe spot. Let's just go back, go do our things, and then probably fight a boss next time. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for some more Metroid Fusion. And, as always, take care, everybody.